Hey finders, and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today, we are creating this holiday-inspired makeup look. I'm using a lot of fun products. Maybe, you know, you just don't feel comfortable rocking a red lip. You can wear this, okay? Because this is super pretty, very festive. It is red, but it's not too bold. It doesn't make too big of a statement. It's like, I'm red and I'm festive, I'm here, but not too in your face. So I'm really loving this, and then of course, the uh, rose gold wing liner. We're gonna get into it. Um, I have a lot to say about this liquid liner. This is quick, at least it will hopefully, fingers crossed, be uh, quick for you because unlike what you're going to experience if you do decide to recreate this look, I encountered several mishaps along the way, which in retrospect, I really do feel like I jinxed myself because I pretty much say that something bad is gonna happen and then it's kind of just one bad thing happens after the other. So we're gonna get into it. You're gonna see it all and it's gonna be a good time. I am ready for Christmas. Look at my festive little earrings. I love them. And I was really happy to have these, honestly, especially when everything was going wrong because the jingling just made me think of like sleigh bells and just lifted my spirits up and reminded me that I can get through this because I can get through anything. Before we get into it, I just wanna remind you guys that if you are not yet subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. And no, you cannot just click the bell button. You need to be subscribed and click the bell button in order to get that notification. I watch my analytics because I wanna see how my channel's doing. I'm interested to know if you guys are watching, what you're watching, what you're not watching, so that I know what you guys like. And a lot of you watch my channel, a lot of you do but a lot of you aren't subscribed. So do me a favor, subscribe, because it really helps me out a lot. That's my lecture for the day. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my holiday inspired 2019 makeup look tutorial. So since we are doing the eyes first, I definitely wanna prime them and to prime them today, I'm just gonna be using the concealer that I'm gonna be using for my under eyes and that is the Koki Be Right Illuminating Concealer. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. And just make sure to get all over the lid and really in that corner because that's where most people, including myself, are a little blue and a little dark. Now this is going to be quick, at least I hope, unless there is some kind of malfunction, which happens pretty often on my channel. So I wouldn't be shocked if something went wrong. Then I'm just going to pat it down once more with the warmth of my finger to really lock it in. I'm going to be hopping into my Tati Beauty palette. If you don't have this, I will recommend some alternatives. I'm gonna be hopping into Aura, and I just wanna take the matte shade, so just take a really light cream shade. I'm gonna take that on my finger, and I'm just gonna pat this on my lid to help set the concealer we just put on, and this is great because I find that this particular shade is really pigmented and will just cancel out any darkness or veins that are on my eye, so I'm just taking that with my finger and stamping it. And I'm putting it all over the lid and I'm bringing it up to the brow. We're gonna be putting a lot of shimmer on the lid, so I just want to make sure that that shimmer really pops and that you can't see anything beneath it. I did mix up my skincare routine a little bit today, so I'll be sure to list that down below. So I am filming an empties video for you guys, so I was at the bottom of a few of my skincare products, so I wanted to go ahead and finish them up so that I can add them to my upcoming video. This one is stained, but it is clean. Take the metallic aura. So just take a metallic champagne shade. You can even use a highlighter. It doesn't need to be an eyeshadow if you don't have this specific palette. Putting this on the inner corner of my eye. Put it underneath the brow bone. More if you need to do a setting spray. You can even use water if you have like a little mister you can put water in it and use that to dampen your brush it doesn't matter and i'm gonna hop into aura but i'm gonna go into the sequin shade pop this all over my lid clean blending brush just a fluffy brush will do ya and i'm just gonna whisk this all over my eye and see how that just created a really light nice base for us. I definitely do want to go ahead and build up that crease a little bit just to give a little bit more dimension because we're just like very white and flat here. So I'm going to hop into Soothe. This shade right here, this is like a cool tone bronzer. So you can go ahead and hop into your bronzer. It doesn't need to be this. So I'm taking that on a little fluffy brush like this into my crease. So I'm not bringing it above. I'm just putting it right in and I'm focusing it on the outer corner and then I'm bringing it in. 
And if you're not sure where to put it, just take your brush and dig it here and put it where you feel your bone. So you see right here, that's where my bone is, my orbital bone is. That is where your crease is. I'm just gonna flick it out on the outer corner. It kind of just lifts the eye ever so slightly and kind of gives like a feline effect. I'm dipping in one last time. So I only dipped in twice and I dipped in really, really lightly. And then you could just see the difference between this eye and this eye, how this one looks way more defined than this one. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a tapered, tighter blending brush. And I'm just gonna blend this out because I don't want this crease line to look really dramatic. I want it to be soft. I want it to just trick the eye into looking like my eyes are a little bit more defined. Popping out a little bit more, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing eyeshadow to do so. And there we have the base of the eye. We're gonna hop in to the star of this look, in my opinion, which is the Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb Highlighter. Run my finger in here, and I'm just tapping this onto the lid. And this is just gonna make the eye look wet. See how pretty that is? Can you see the light like reflecting off of that? Oh my God. But I'm using my opposite hand so I can get the same angle that I had on the other eye. And then for the final touch, I'm just gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna focus it right on the center of the eye to really catch the light in the center and make our eyes appear a little bit bigger. This will just pick up all of the light wherever you are. And I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more to the inner corner, just taking what's ever left on my finger and patting it in the inner corner. I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs. This is a fine liner in Glitz Blitz. This is like a rose gold eyeliner. Can you see? Can you see that? And I'm just gonna give myself a little cat eye to lift the face. You guys know how I love a cat eye. So I'm gonna keep it really, really close to the lash line. And honestly, this is such a faint liner that if you're using this specific one, it's okay if you make a mistake because you're not really gonna see it. Okay, I'm gonna look in a mirror and I'm gonna see if those are the same width, which they are. And I'm gonna wing this one out even though there really is no point because you can't see it. But we're gonna do a double liner and this just ain't doing it for me. So I'm gonna use a different Marc Jacobs liner, which Marc Jacobs, this is your second chance in this video to really redeem yourself. I have not used this. This is the Metallic Liquid Eyeliner in Star Magic, and this is a rose gold liner. I'm gonna start at the wing this time. Okay, yeah, definitely better. Now I'm gonna put it all over the lid, but I'm gonna keep this really, really low to the lash line so that you can see that other rose gold liner behind it. I'm just gonna make that wing a little bit bigger. That's good because you can see my wing now. It's kind of like taking away the pigment as it dries, which is never good. See, didn't I tell you there would be a mishap in this video? Okay, moving on to the other side. I, I need to and I must go on record and say that Mark Jacobs let me down twice today and I absolutely hate this. This kind of dries down a little crusty and it feels a little heavy on the lids as it dries and you keep going in because I'm not the kind of person that can just like draw a wing on and be done with it. I need to go back in and just perfect it and build upon the wing. Um, but as I was doing that, it was drying. What was already down was drying and then I would go over it and this wand kind of just crusts the dry liner off as you go along. So I'm not the biggest fan of this. I really like this color though. It's definitely unique. So I will continue to use this, but formula wise, I'm really disappointed in this and this is not worth the money. And then this is not that pigmented. However, I feel like this would be really pretty if you drew this all over the lid and then buffed it out with a nice blending brush. I will definitely try that here on my channel and use it as like an eyeshadow base and we'll see what that looks like. So I could see that being really beautiful, but as far as a liner and like creating a cat eye, this doesn't really do much. This might be pretty as a shadow though. So pump up those lashes. And the metallic liquid liner is like dried onto a few of my lashes. So I'm gonna try and take that off before going in with a mascara. Oh, it came right off and just run this through my lashes. Mm, it came off the other side a lot easier. Oh my god, that just ripped my lashes out. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just move the hell on. So I'm going to use my collab. This is the Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. The mascara that was filled to the brim with mascara. Which you would think would be a nice thing because I got more product, like more bang for my buck. But no, because I'm waiting for 
me to run out of some. It's like really ridiculous. I feel like Kathleen Lights makes the prettiest makeup faces ever out of everyone. And I just want to know how. Okay. I just got all of that mascara in my eyeball. It's all over my contact. SOS. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stand by please. Like it's such a good mascara, but holy shit. Why do I have to fight with the amount of mascara that gets picked up by this wand every freaking time? I'm gonna close this because <laughs> I cannot. L'Oreal Telescopic because I love this wand and it's like dying and I'm just gonna maneuver what I have on my lashes. Thank God we did our eyes first. Okay, there is literally glitter and mascara all over my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a Neutrogena makeup remover wipe and I'm gonna run this underneath the eyes. Cause I don't want any of that glitter to get onto the base of my face. I'm gonna go in one more time with that Femti highlighter and just dab this on the center of my eye and I'm gonna bring it into the crease. I'm actually gonna bring it like up to the brow because I want more of a sparkle. How freaking pretty. Same thing on this side. Let's go ahead and finish off the face. I'm gonna do a quick beat. It's gonna be light, it's gonna be fun, and it's not gonna be too crazy because I said this was gonna be quick and that took a lot longer. My bright ass had to say that something always goes wrong. Well, then the universe was like, watch out lady, we'll have a bunch of things go wrong today. So, universe, Thank you for that. Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Drops, one pump. And I'm gonna mix it in with, what do I wanna mix it in with? Kors Greek Yogurt Smoothie Primer, one drop of each. Rub that together and create this bronzy finish. We just want the whole face to sparkle. And this does give a tint, so you can see I'm a little darker than I was a second ago. It is a bronzer. So just make sure you really rub that in and get that everywhere. Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. And I'm just gonna add this where I need some extra coverage. I'm gonna go back in with my brush. I'm just gonna stamp this into the skin, covering up some of that redness that I get. And my acne scars that I have around my mouth. I always forget how amazing this brush is when I take time away from it. And then when I go back, I'm like, oh God, why did I stop using you? Except this one hair is like wonky. Another mishap. This hair is like coming out of this brush. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pluck him. Okay. And just make sure you're being careful of that wing. I'm going to go in with the larger side and just blend that out. And I'm going to go in with my damp beauty sponge and further blend it out again. All right, a little darker, which I like because this time of the year I'm pasty AF. I'm going to just dampen this a little bit. I'm going to sit that down. And then for foundation today, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear foundation. I'm in the shade 440. I'm going to take one pump and I'm going to disperse it with my fingers. And I'm just going to start with that. And then I'm going to take the larger side of the Complexion Perfection and just blend this out. I don't think this foundation is like amazing for dry, dry skin. Like I'm very dry in the winter. I feel like this is a better foundation for me in the summer. And then I'm gonna take that sponge again. I'm gonna pick up whatever is left on the back of my hand and just stamp this into the skin. If I need a little bit more coverage underneath the eyes, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that foundation on the flat side of the sponge and just stamp it down, bring it down the neck. Make sure it's blended by the ears. I should have brought that de bronzy down my neck, but I'm gonna bring that foundation down my neck. If you haven't done this and you plan to recreate this look, bring the de bronzy down your neck. I'm gonna spray my face. My skin is very dry. That was a nice tip. If you have dry skin, you can use setting spray in between every layer if you want, and it'll help add a little pump and moisture to your face. Stamp down wherever I get really dry to just push that moisture into the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna bake a little bit just because I like to bake. I find that it makes a really big difference in my makeup routine. So this is the only powder I've been baking with as of recently, and this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, flat end of the sponge, and I'm gonna stamp that underneath the eyes. I'm gonna bake on the sides of my nose because I am gonna contour my nose in just a minute. Nothing crazy though, I'm doing like a really, really light layer, and we're not gonna leave this on for too long. And then I'm gonna put some underneath the cheekbones. 
we are gonna go ahead and contour using some powder. I just wanna lay down the guidelines first, and then I'm gonna put some in my smile lines to help prevent them from creasing. While that's baking and sitting, I'm gonna hop in with some bronzer. I'm gonna use my BH Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal because this is pretty much the only bronzer I use as of lately. Small little brush. This is a Jaclyn Hill JH05. Stamp this over where I would contour. I'm gonna do a brontour, so we're contouring with bronzer. I'm gonna put some underneath the jaw. And then I'm going to make my forehead a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna stamp this along the hairline. And I'm stamping this, I'm not like sweeping this because I don't wanna move the foundation underneath. I'm bringing down the neck. And I'm just gonna contour my nose because it's crooked and I have to, so I don't have to. I just, it makes me feel better about myself when I do. I always use this. This is the Luxie Medium Angled Shading Brush. And I'm just gonna run this along where that powder starts. I'm gonna bring it into the brows. And then I've been doing this thing where I take a little bit on that brush and then I run it over that bump on my nose. If you look, I have a bump here because I broke my nose twice. So I'm gonna put some contour over this bump I've actually stopped highlighting the bridge of my nose. I used to do that all the time, and this is a very recent thing. I find that putting some contour right here, some darkness here, brings that bump back. So, life-changing, actually. I'm gonna take a little bit, and I'm gonna put this on the outside of my lips. Just run it along that lip line. Just like over the cupid's bow and underneath, just to make the lips look a little juicier. Dust away my nose contour first, and I'm going to brush the dust, the translucent powder, towards the center of my nose to just help blend that contour out because as you can see, it's very prominent right now and I kind of want to fade it a little bit. So I'm just gonna brush this up towards the contour. And that's just gonna diffuse that line a little bit. And then right here, it's very dark, so I'm gonna take what's ever left over on that brush and I'm just gonna do that really quickly. And then with what's ever left over, I'm gonna run it down the nose, just like that. Now I'm gonna brush this up towards the contour. Again, we didn't leave that much powder on. Brush that away, and then I'm just gonna brush it away from underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take my Gigi Gorgeous. I'm gonna use both of the shades, but I'm gonna use them one at a time. So I'm gonna go in with the mat on a denser angled brush and I'm gonna keep that to the back and just like put that over where I contoured. Fluffier blush brush and this is a tapered one. I'm gonna go into the glittery side and I'm just gonna stamp this over all of that and this is really pretty. It gives a nice sheen and a nice glisten to the cheeks but it also kind of softens that matte shade up a little bit put what's ever left on the chin and a little bit on the forehead. L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because Lord Jesus knows I will not go back into that collab one for a couple weeks now that it did me so dirty. And I'm just gonna put this on the lower lashes. And then for highlights today, let's just keep it consistent. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. I'm gonna put it on with my finger and I'm just gonna stamp it on the highest points of my cheeks. I'll put some a little bit up here, concentrate it. This just like makes you look wet. So freaking pretty. Take my Makeup Forever highlighter. This is the Profusion number one, and I'm just gonna put this between my brows. I'm not highlighting the bridge of my nose, I'm just putting it between my brows because I find that because I have that bump, this section of my face right between my brows, it looks like it's further back. So I wanna just bring that forward. So whatever you wanna bring forward on your face, just throw some highlight. And I'm gonna bring my chin forward just because I don't really have like a prominent chin. And I'm gonna put some on my Cupid's bow to make my lips look a little poutier. Hourglass Arch Brow, this is my clear shaping gel. I'm just gonna set the brows and fluff out any of the glitter that's in them while setting them for the day, even though 
it's like eight o'clock at night and my day is pretty much over. Lime Crime Lip Liner in the shade Poppy. This has been my favorite. I'm just gonna line my lips really lightly and I'm not really gonna overline them too much. I'm gonna take my collab about the pout tinted lip balm and this is in the shade red carpet treatment all right guys and this is the finished makeup look although we went through many trials and tribulations i must say that i'm very happy with where we landed this did not take too much time i really think that this lip goes really nicely with the rose gold red lipstick when you put a red lip on if you don't line it perfectly, it really shows up in photos. It's very noticeable in person. So if you're someone that's not really great at lining your lips, you're not really the best at applying lip liner, lipstick, then this is a bomb option. I would lift it up and give it one more applause, but I don't know where I put it. If you could see what my desk looks like right now, you would be appalled. It's very messy. Here we go. Collab, shout out to you. I'm a really big fan of this brand. I feel like they're really underrated. Sally's, they're sold at Sally's Beauty. I've done a few videos using Collab products. They're bomb. If you see them in Sally's, pick them up. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you recreate this look and wear it to any of your upcoming holiday parties, please be sure to tag me. Let me know. I would love to check it out. I'm really happy with how this came out. I think that this rose gold wing is simply stunning. I just wish that the formula was a little bit better. And if I find a rose gold liner that is comparable to the shade, but just works a little bit better, I will link it down below as well. Please, if you're not yet subscribed, do do that. Click that subscribe button and also click that bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my YouTube channel. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.